to Tavibo Gallery. Today we have an exhibition called Myths. Uh, the curator for the exhibition is Shireen Lassery. We have uh, five female artists participating, two Thai artists, two Vietnamese artists and one from Myanmar. The, the two Thai artists are Ratana Sali and Ankana Kong Pet. The two Vietnamese artists are Zong Tui Zuong and Nguyen Thi Chao Ziang. And the artist from Myanmar is Nghe Le. I have chosen the topic myths for this exhibition and through the five artists who are in this show they all express very contemporary views which affect their society. Each and every one of them are very familiar with the cultural identities within which they live. And although each of the three countries, Myanmar, Thailand and Vietnam, are linked by a common culture, they do have a very vast differences. Ankana has chosen to use the topic Lilith and Eve, which in itself is a very universal fable, and use it as a metaphor for her views on Thai women in, the, in her society, whereby she does not see very many differences between women and men. Her body of work for myths consists of two paintings and one sculpture. The paintings are done in a very flat surface tone, very vibrant colors, and um, it is, has a very contemporary feel, which is universal in its own manner. Hi, my name is Ankana. I'm one of the artists of this Miss Exhibition. Lydia C is actually the first woman in the world that God, that God ever created. If a woman decides to be herself, she can change the whole world by living little harmless acts. That's it. Ratana is essentially a sculptor and someone who has been born and bred in Bangkok. She uses the urban landscape to talk about the position of women in Bangkok, which represents the busy landscape of Bangkok. And as we are quite aware, women in Thailand, they work from whether they are farmers, in the police service and right up to being a prime minister. And her use of the urban landscape is a very, very important uh, metaphor in terms of Thai women uh, as uh, part of their society because they have uh, contributed a very, very significant uh, uh, role in terms of uh, Bangkok's economic environment. My concept is developed from my living in the urban space in the Bangkok. Sometimes when I walk around the street and I feel something in the city and that uh, I develop it to my art piece. is one of Vietnam's most important uh, younger women artists. Her work is already in important art collections um, in Asia and in Europe. And she is also one of the very few women 
who paint on silk. Um, traditionally, um, in Vietnam's art history, the two most important uh, art uh, media it has been lacquer painting and silk painting. But unlike lacquer, silk has not been utilized and, uh, as much as uh, lacquer painting. And this is what makes uh, Hyang's work so very special, is her detailing and also, now coming back to her articulation about contemporary Vietnamese women, she has for this exhibition use the symbol of the dragon uh, because Vietnam, the origins of Vietnam um, is supposedly under the star of a dragon and she sees the dragon as a very very important symbol which uh, in terms of the Vietnamese women they have uh, a very uh, composed beauty on the outside, but inside of them they have a tremendous strength, which has been, um, which can be identified throughout their modern history. Dong Tui Dong uh, lives and works in Berlin for the last 12 years. Her connection with uh, Hanoi and Vietnam remains very strong. And uh, her concern about contemporary Vietnamese women is that there is a fear that they will lose their cultural identity. And in this uh, body of paintings, which she calls Photoshop. She uses the idea of fo that women are so intent on changing their physical identity. For example, she uses the idea of the pig and the red blood here, which symbolizes a more physical change. The other part half of the painting, we see it done in black and the blood dripping out is also in black because she feels that, you know, with that type of mindset, women have a darker side to their personalities. Old Nile has emerged as one of Myanmar's most important contemporary artists. Her work, together with that of her Jian, has been recognized by the Fukuoka Art Museum. In this particular body of work, uh, Nile has used the idea of the robotic figures in the marketplace. And in this particular body of work, which has been done in the market right across her road, she uses the robots as a symbol that something which they should not be. Because she has observed in developed societies like in Singapore, which she mentioned specifically, where she sees that although women are holding very uh, important and much higher status than in Myanmar, they are all like robots. I really like this painting and I can really relate to this. Though Southeast Asia, there's been a lot of development in terms of economic development, we still find that the women are in a cage. So I think it's very relevant uh, because they still don't have the freedom the women don't have the rights, uh, so this is a very, very, uh, very, very relevant even in the current context. Um, all the countries in this region have developed a lot, but our women are still, uh, you know, not progressed much. They may be highly educated, they may be in big positions, but in terms of rights, they're really backward. So this means a lot, and I think uh, it's. It really expresses uh, 
how a woman feels. Uh, I've been coming to Tawibu Gallery for some years now because I appreciate the efforts made to, to see the commonalities in the art between Thailand, Vietnam and Myanmar or, or, or Burma, um, which is a distinct region which has common concerns, economic concerns, political concerns, and I find it very fascinating how, how the, the, the gallery Tawibu is trying to capture these common overall concerns in art, in, in the work of artists. And this today is an opening of an exhibition called Myths, which is feminist women artists from Southeast Asia, from Thailand, Vietnam and, and Myanmar, with very distinct different types of work. I'm captivated by this particular artist who's um, working on, on painting on very fine silk, a very traditional, very feminine form of art, as if you will, in some ways, um, but then having a very intellectual and analytical and critical view on her country and on the position of women, the role of women in, in Vietnam, uh, exploited to make the, the Vietnam dragon economy function well, exploited in the garment industries, exploited in the coffee industry, etc. And this juxtaposition of a very fine fabric on which she works in a very fine um, um, working of the of the brush with the, the depth of the picture, the very sad eyes, the evocative sort of face, showing sort of the, the, the pain of, of being a dragon economy, how it works on women workers, how it works on women farmers. I think it's a beautiful, to me it's a beautiful depiction of, of an economic issue as well as a beautiful piece of art.